I'm old enough that I remember manually searching through all the text in a document for one word and replacing it with another, all by eye, hoping I didn't miss one instance. And all I can say is thank goodness for the Find Change feature, which lets me do it all now with a single click. You can find Find Change by going to the Edit menu and choosing Find Change, or press Command F or Control F on Windows. There's a lot of options in the Find Change dialog box, but I'm going to focus just on the basics here. Find what and change to. Let's say I want to search for the word Egypt. All I have to do is type Egypt here. And when I click Find, it finds the first instance of Egypt. It's down here. Let me zoom in on that. Command spacebar or Control spacebar. Drag over that and we can see that it did in fact find the word Egypt, but inside of another word. That's not what I was intending. I wanted to find the whole word Egypt. But fortunately, InDesign lets me change the scope of what it's searching for, and it's all based on these little buttons down here. And I have to be honest with you, I almost never remember what those buttons do. There's just too many of them. So I move the cursor on top of them until I see the little tooltip. This one is Include Locked Layers and Locked Objects. This one is Include Locked Stories. This one is Hidden Layers. And I'm just going to go through these one at a time until I find what I'm looking for. Master Pages, Footnotes, Case Sensitive. That could be useful at some time, but not right now. And this one, here we go, whole word. I want to find the whole word of Egypt. So I click on that button and try again. I'll click Find, and it jumps to the next instance of Egypt, but only as a whole word. Of course, find what is only half the equation here. Sometimes we want to find a word and change it to something else. For example, I'm going to type two dashes in here. I want to find everywhere where the author typed in two hyphens instead of a regular M dash. And I'm going to change it to the M dash by typing an M dash in here. But what if I don't remember how to type an M dash or what the code is? Well, that's where this little pop out menu over on the right comes in. I don't know why they use the at symbol there, but whenever you see an at symbol pop up menu, it means special characters. So I'm going to click on that and we can see all the special characters, the invisible characters, the interesting glyphs, and so on that InDesign knows about that I may not know how to type. In this case, I'm looking for a hyphen or a dash, and there it is, M dash. It types in a special code that I'm never going to remember myself, but fortunately, it types it in for me. And now I can click Change All, and it says, uh oh, zero replacements made. Well, Remember, just a moment ago, we told InDesign what the scope of our search was. We told InDesign to only find whole words. Well, there are no whole words that are just two dashes. I need to turn that button off and then do my change all. It goes through the document and it found eight of them. So that's great. I'll click OK. Here's another thing I use find change all the time for. Find all the instances where somebody typed two or more spaces and replace it with a single space. I could do that myself, but sometimes people use weird spaces. You know, Adobe InDesign has all kinds of strange spaces like thin spaces and quarter spaces and so on. What if I want to find all of those? Well, fortunately, InDesign comes with a bunch of built-in queries, these find change queries, and they all live up here in the query pop-up menu. And we can look at the ones that InDesign ships with by clicking on that pop-up menu. There's a whole bunch of cool ones in here. I'm going to use multiple space to single space. It types all the weird codes for all the different spaces that it's going to look for, so I don't have to remember any of that. Now all I have to do is click Change All, and it goes through the entire document, and it found 347 of them in just an instant. Now, there's lots of other things you can do in the Find Change dialog box. For example, you can find text with particular formatting and change it to other formatting. I'll cover that in a later chapter. You can also do this thing called Grep Find Change, which is what it used to find all these multiple spaces. I go into great detail about grep and all the cool things you can do with that in another title in the lynda.com online training library called 10 Things to Know About Grep. Glyph Find Change lets you search for a very particular character in your document, and Object Find Change lets you find and change object formatting. For example, you might want to change all of your red frames into blue frames. You can do that with the Object Formatting Find Change, and I'll cover that in a later chapter too. The Find Change dialog box is obviously an incredibly powerful tool when you take the time to dial in exactly what you're looking for and exactly what you want to change it to.